Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Presidential declaration. Gurgen Yanikens remains to be reburied in Yerevan. His Holiness Karagin II to officiate the events dedicated to the 350th anniversary of the Armenian Church in Crete. Pentagon intends to exclude Turkey from F-35 deal. Exhibition of Armenian Khachkars opening Dublin. The Gohar Aga Persian Mosque is being restored. Presidential Council of the Republic of Western Armenia represents Presidential Decree of Armenak Abrahamian relating to the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide of 9 December 1948. The President of the Republic regarding the Article 77 of the Constitution regarding the formation of the Ministry of the Consequences and the Reparation of the Genocide Committed Against the Armenian People regarding the reservations made to the Convention by the United States on May 28 of 1951 and a stipulated definition of the genocide convention and other reservations regarding the statements made by the Turkish president on April 24 of 2019 concerning the deportation of indigenous Armenians from their homeland, the occupation of Western Armenia and the accession of Turkey to the Convention of July 31, 1950, regarding the United Nations Resolution 1647 on the right to the remedy and reparation for victims of gross violation of international human rights law and serious violation of international humanitarian law, regarding the terms of ratification and or accession of international treaties decree. Article 1. The accession of Western Armenia to the Convention of the Prevention and punishment of the crime of genocide. Article 2. The Prime Minister is responsible for the implementation of this decree. Article 3. The decree will be published in the official journal of the Republic of Western Armenia. The remains of writer-engineer Gurgen Yanigan, who inspired the founding of the Armenian Secret Army for the liberation of Armenia, have been moved from the U.S. to Armenia. The remains will be buried at the Arabulur Pantheon in Yerevan on 5th May at 3 p.m. Archbishop of Mother See of Holy Hmyatim, Voskan Kalpakyan, will perform the funeral order personally. The hero of Armenian liberation movement, Yanigan, was born in Erzurum, Western Armenia, in 1895. On January 27, of 97, he shot two Turkish consular officials, Los Angeles Consul General Mehmet Baydar and Consul Bahadir Demir in California. Yanikian voluntarily went to U.S. law enforcement agencies and defended the Armenian rights in the court. On June 2 of 1973, he was sentenced to life imprisonment. Yanikian was paroled on 10 February of 1984 because of poor health and transferred to a hospital. He passed away of a heart attack on 27 February at the age of 88. On the evening of May 3, His Holiness Karagin II, Catholicus of all Armenians, visited Crete to officiate the events dedicated to the 315th anniversary of the Armenian Church of St. Hovanu Karabet in Heraklion, reports the information system of the Mother See of Holy Echmiadzin. Pentagon will hold manufacturing support for the F-35 fighter jets if Turkey purchases S-400 missile defense system, Acting Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan told reporters on Friday. Shanahan said that he had met with the leadership of U.S. aerospace manufacturers to discuss moving Turkey out of F-35 project. Shanahan also recalled that Turkey remains a strategic partner of the United States. An exhibition of photos exploring the similarities between Irish high crosses and Armenian Khachkars is open at Christ Church Cathedral, Catholic Ireland reported. The exhibition is devoted to the 104th anniversary of the genocide against Armenians and will last until the end of May. Took place a service of remembrance at Christ Church Cathedral where attended the Armenian ambassador to Ireland, Arman Giragosyan, Bishop Hovakim Manukyan, who led prayers at the Khachkar memorial in the grounds of the cathedral. With the cooperation of Artsakh government and with the funding of the Idea Fund, the reconstruction of the Gohar Aga Mosque in Shushi is ongoing. As reports Idea Foundation Public Relations Department, the goal of the program is to preserve the historical and architectural heritage of the city and to support the development of the neighboring territories of the mosque and the historical district of Shushi. According to the source, the implementation of the program also emphasizes the respect of Armenians and especially the people of Artsakh towards its history, the Armenian-Persian centuries old friendship and interactions of cultures. 
Now let us represent to your attention a song by Gurdjieff Hamoid. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.